We're making out now. I'm having a kiss date with the ferret. Who's ready for a mouthful of monster meat? Hello, it's Matt Baum with The Stranger in Seattle coming at you for another play date. This time we're talking about Monster Hunter World. What is this game? Well, you run around in a world and you hunt monsters. Name pretty much says it all. I've recently become obsessed with this game. I particularly love the multiplayer, playing with my partner, just running around in the world having a big gay adventure. I'm just so lucky. Look at what I get to have. Look at what I get to have here. Oh. You literally died onto the fire. I also like how the game is full of cats. They're your sidekicks, they're your companions. You can play with them, you can dress them up, you can splash around in a foot bath. And of course, there's some very goofy monster designs, but my favorite thing about the game is the food. When I'm playing a game, sometimes I just get lost in what I'm doing and I forget to eat, and my mind gets a little spacey. I feel like that would be a thing. You put hummus on your face? Oh, what is the Swedish version of the sound of a baby's laugh? Do not fuck the ferrets as geckles. Uh... But Monster Hunter World actually reminds me to eat, because every time you go on an adventure, you first stop off at the canteen for a meal to get some power-ups. And the food in the canteen is gorgeous. It makes me so hungry. I'm like monkey strap behind Judy Dench. Also, between you and me, I've got a little crush on the Meowskular Chef. Every time I watch this animation, I'm like, do I look at the delicious food, or do I look at this cat's beautiful biceps? So in this video, I'm gonna look at some of the most mouth-watering food in Monster Hunter World, and then I'm gonna try making my own in real life. But first, I wanna let you know that this episode's brought to you by Coindexter's Bar in the heart of Greenwood here in Seattle. Although the games are off for now, good food and cocktails are still on. You can stop in for a Happy Meal special, which comes with a temporary tattoo in the box, or take home an adult drink pouch cocktail. Coindexter's is open daily at 4 p.m. for dine-in and takeout. You can find them on Instagram at Coindexter's Bar or on the web at coindexters.com. All right, I'm gonna start by reviewing some of the Monster Hunter foods and then deciding which one I wanna make most. There are multiple canteens in Monster Hunter World. Here's one of them. As you can see, there's a lot of nice little touches with the cats cooking all around you. I have to say, this is the world's riskiest kitchen. I'm trying not to think about how many cats might have fallen into that stew. This is the canteen in the Gathering Hub in Astera. You can see it starts with a cat coming up to you on a dumbwaiter, which, oh boy, that is a dream feature for any apartment. And there's the food unveiled. I'm not sure what the seafood pillow is. Is it paella? Maybe it's a paella pillow? And there he goes, that's my player character drinking down what seems like an entire lobster. He's kind of like Bustopher drinking down the entire prawn. And now here's the canteen in Astera. There's the Meowskular Chef, the hottest character in the game. Look at those bands on his arms. I don't know what that's supposed to suggest. He is a beefy boy. He's making a lot of food here, so I don't think I'm gonna try to recreate this meal. I'm not buying, like, multiple lobsters for this video, thank you. Now this is the canteen situation when you're in the wild at camp. I do like what's going on here, but I don't think I can recreate this one because I do not not have a cauldron. I do love how tense the handler is, like watching you eat. She's like, is he gonna like it? Is he gonna, oh good, he likes it. And now here's my favorite kitchen. This is the Graham Yowster in Celiana. Look at this place, it is so cozy. I just wanna hang out here and maybe get a little sauce with the Graham Yowster like Mary Berry. Look at this one little cat by the stove singing to the casserole, we've all been there. The meal comes with a bunch of sausages, which are those ground up monsters? Also the cheese, we don't see a lot of mammals in the game. So I have to guess the cheese either comes from the monsters that you kill or possibly from the cats. This is just an absurd amount of food, but it's maybe what we need for winter coming on. So I've decided to make some of the recipes that the Grammy Ouster prepares for you. Why Grammy Ouster? Because the weather is getting a little cold right now. It'd be nice to make some comfort foods. My usual cold weather comfort foods are things like hot cocoa and tomato soup, not at the same time. And I also like rouladen, which is beef that's been pounded flat and then rolled up with bacon and onions and pickles. Delicious, but I feel like my neighbors might object to the smell. So here's what's on the menu. I'm gonna be doing some beef stew, also some leek soup off to the side. Not really sure what leeks are, but we're gonna find out. And then potatoes au gratin with some bubbly cheese to stick to my ribs. And one little modification to what you see in the game, I'm not gonna be making quite as much food as the Graham Meowster, because I don't have an army of cats to help me cook, or an army of cats to help me eat it afterwards. Yet. So I'm gonna start by chopping onions. There are a lot of onions to chop. There's so much. My eyes are quite red. Also, maybe because I'm a little stoned. Sliced a lot of potatoes for the potatoes au gratin. Shredded a lot of cheese. Ate most of it before it went on top. Here's the leeks all sliced up for potato leek soup. I guess a leek is basically an onion that wishes it was a tree. Throwing in some parsnips as well. I guess a parsnip is kind of a potato, but it smells a little like toothpaste. And the beef for the beef stew. This smells very good. So good I was distracted and burned my first attempt at the soup. 
All right, so the food is now cooking. It's bubbling away. I gotta say, it smells pretty good, and I can see the power-up potential there. It's a lot of protein, it's a lot of carbs, it's also a bit of alcohol and quite a bit of dairy, and I'm not sure that would be the most helpful thing on a monster hunt. Also, I gotta say, this involved a lot of chopping, so I can see why the Grand Meowster needs all those cat assistants around her. In hindsight, I should have gone with something a lot simpler, like a banana. Also, I had to ventilate the apartment because I chopped three entire onions, so probably won't be doing that again. But the food should be just about ready now, so let's see how it turned out. All right, there it is. Looks pretty good. We've got some stew, we've got some soup in a tiny little jar, and we've got some potatoes au gratin on a little dish. But how's it taste? Let's dive in. I'm gonna take a nice big bite of potato and... Mmm, that is actually pretty good. I made the mistake of giving myself only a spoon and a fork, which means that I'm gonna have to try to slice through the beef with a spoon. Okay, it's not coming apart, so I'm just gonna stick this whole thing in my mouth and burn myself. How? Um, my teeth hurt. I think, the t I think the beef has loosened my teeth. So that'll help when I go out to fight a monster. What if I lost a tooth making this video? It's um, maybe I could bring this along on a hunt to like set as bait for a monster and then it will lose its fangs because, oh my goodness. Oh, but you know what though? The vegetables actually taste very good. If you want to make vegetables a part of your life, apparently drowning them in wine and beef, beef fat is gonna, is gonna make vegetables tolerable. So great, thank you for that monster hunter. All right, I'm gonna take a drink of this soup mush next. The soup? Okay, here's the thing. I don't know if the ratio of liquid was quite right with the soup because it came out very thick. I had to strain it. And now it's looking kind of like um, a sample from a fertility clinic. So let's, let's give it a go. It's actually very good. Wait, hold on. The lumpiness is so gross. I made a very nice onion leek potato gruel. Now I understand why the hunter character in Dragon, uh, in, in Monster Hunter has a flagon of ale next to him. Cause once you get a little of this in your mouth, you gotta wash it down with something. And I don't think the raspberries are gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna try the potatoes next. If I can dislodge my fork from this beef, it may just be a permanent part of my fork now. You know what? Here it is. This is just a part of my fork. The potatoes actually look really good. Um, but they too are having some trouble coming apart. There we go. Uh, uh, hang on, this goes. Now this is the star. Turns out, if you take a bunch of potatoes, if you take just a bunch of starch and carbohydrates, you throw a lot of fat on top and some dairy, then you got something going on there. Oh my God, it's so good though. Here's another problem I've just discovered. I just realized I'm lactose intolerant. I have not taken a pill for these extremely buttery, 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 cheese, cheese, cream uh, delights. So uh, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna add some urgency to my next monster hunt. I, the game tells you you have 50 minutes to kill the Pookie Pookie, and boy oh boy, if you don't do it in time, you are going to embarrass yourself in the forest. Wouldn't be the first time for me. I also have a nice decorative sausage and some berries and a cheese. So here we go with, um, Mm-hmm. Greasy and cold, just like my love, my lovers. A nice hunk of cheese. I hanker for this hunk. Mm. This stuff, the stuff that I barely even touched, that came out the best, I gotta say. Maybe I'll eat this cabbage leaf next. The less you mess with the ingredients, the better. That's my discovery. The cats also make some bread, and I've got like a hunk of bread right here. The problem with the bread is I got it two days ago, and oh boy, I'm not strong enough to break this bread. I'm gonna hurt myself on this bread. There we go. This bread um, could maybe, if I dunk it in here, uh, 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 well, definitely losing teeth. And, and I, well, no. I'm gonna give myself, as a Grand Meowster, maybe a six out of 10 on this. Um, the cum sample is probably my least favorite. After hours of chopping and cooking and steaming and reducing in the kitchen, I was very tired, and now sitting down to this meal, this nice tasting platter of monster hunting food, I actually do feel very cozy. These are some nice winter foods. My health is up, my stamina's gone up, I got some cat powers now, so I'm ready to go out and face the world. After a little nap, I think. Well, thanks for baking along with me, Kitchen Monster Hunters. I'm Matt Baum for The Stranger with another play date. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've gotta go make an appointment with my dentist. Ah!
Dance. 